Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. Today we are in Google Bard. Uh, if you don't know what Google Bard is, it is an AI tool provided by obviously Google. Uh, and the name of the tool is Bard, B-A-R-D. And if you've been using Bard, there has been a new update to include something called extensions. So if you've used ChatGPT before, uh, you've probably known something called plugins where you can install plugins to use alongside ChatGPT and there's new ones released all the time. Uh, the extensions on Google Bard are very similar. So here we are on the Bard homepage. I've opened up a new chat where I can go ahead and start entering my prompt here. And we're going to see a new interface here. We're going to see uh, a couple of things, understand, create, explore code. But what we want to do is go up here to where we see extensions. It's the little puzzle piece icon there. So click on extensions and then you'll see Bard extensions help you bring it all together. The beauty of using Google Bard is the continuity between all of the Google apps like Google Drive, Google Flights, Hotels, Google Maps, YouTube, and etc. So in order to enable an extension, you need to go here to the extensions option here, and it'll ask you to log into your Google account if you haven't already to give access to these specific things here. And something you can do now with extensions within Google Bard with the connectivity between all of the apps like Gmail and Google Drive and things like that, you can type something like show me all emails from and then put the person's name and then hit enter. Now, if you haven't connected your extensions yet, you'll see something here where it says first you'll need to connect Google Workspace to turn on this extension. Then it's going to say connect to Google Workspace. This is a specific extension called Google Workspace. Make sure you're logged into the appropriate Gmail or Google account and go ahead and just click connect. So once we hit connect here, Google Bard will think for a few seconds. It'll open up that extension called Google Workspace. And we are now going to see all of the emails, most recent emails from that specific person. Not only are we going to see emails here, but we are also going to be able to see, as you can see, the ability to click into them and open up Gmail to open up that specific email. So if we go back to our extensions here by clicking the puzzle icon, you can see that we have all of these extensions enabled. We have the YouTube extension, Google Flights, Hotels, etc. So if we go back to a new chat here within Google Bard, we can type in a prompt that says, show a video tutorial on how to cook the perfect steak and then go ahead and hit enter once you've typed in your prompt and you can see it's going to use the extension and lets you know the extension by right here and as you can see it's going to show you the most recent and most relevant videos to your results it's using the YouTube extension and then if you want to you can actually click try again without extensions by clicking on this drop down menu here it's going to show you by embedding these five videos here as if you just you know searched that on YouTube so it's kind of like a Google search or a YouTube search on steroids this is going to help everyone it's going to help YouTube creators it's going to help people trying to find information it's just a win win for everyone so once you find this, you can click on these links here and it'll take you directly to that specific YouTube video utilizing that extension. Another thing you can do is if we go back to the extensions here and we go to like this one here that says Google Maps, find something nearby. So what I'll type in is show me grocery stores close to the area code 30554. And then you can see it's going to be using the Google Maps extension. Anytime it uses an extension, you're going to see that icon there as well as a drop down menu to also go ahead and try it again without the extension. And as you can see here, it's going to show me all the grocery stores along with a map that I can click and select that, go to Google Maps, uh, everything done within Google Bard uh, that I can kind of prompt it and then go to Google Maps and do everything I would do here embedded within Google Bard. It's just taking what Google Bard already does and using your normal prompts, you can go ahead and utilize these extensions. And as time progresses, I'm sure there will be more and more of them. Now, how do you disable an extension? You go back to the puzzle icon where it says extensions once you're logged into Google Bard. And then anything right here that has a blue check to the right is enabled. Anything that you uncheck will be over to the left and grayed out. So if you want something to be enabled, you just check it. It shows up as blue. And now when you use Google Bard normally, it will decide when you can use an extension. Another great thing to do is if you type in, say, at, and then go to YouTube, you can see it's going to pull up all of the extensions. So if we type in the at symbol, it's going to show me that I have the docs, drive, flights, hotels, all of these different extensions. I can select that, and then I can go ahead and say, show me, you know, all files, whatever it may be, right? 
So that's how you install and enable the extensions as well as disable the extensions and a little bit about how to use them within Google Bard. Let me know in the comments section below what's your favorite feature about this new update to Google Bard. It's one of my favorite AI tools out there and I will see you guys in the next video.